Stonehenge Airport. That was such a bumpy this place ride. Is amazing. I'm still a little Here, nauseous. Take my photo. Did you have to explain to every passenger we passed on the plane that I was afraid of heights? Not crazy? Everyone kept staring at me because of you. It's numb? Fine. I'll carry your bag then. I was contemplating the other day where I should go to get inspiration, when my eyes fell on the antique jigsaw puzzle we pieced together. The scenery was remarkable, but it wasn't easy to find out where the place was. I spent quite a lot of time looking for it. It always gets a little lonely traveling alone. That's why I asked you along. Of course not. I asked you to come along because... I'll tell you when we get there. Ma'am, I've just received a notification. I regret to inform you that the ground staff at your Origin Airport did not load your luggage onto the plane. It wasn't loaded onto the plane? You mean we have a piece of luggage left in the Lincoln Airport? I do apologize for the inconvenience. When it arrives, I'll arrange for it to be sent immediately to your accommodation. Let's put that aside for now. At least my luggage made it. It's the rainy season, and it may rain any time. So let's head over to the inn first. It's been a while since I've been to such a pastoral place. If only we had a red convertible, we'd blaze through the grasslands. A convertible? Oh, we do happen to have that. Please, follow me outside. Does this... ox cart count as a convertible? This is how we welcome guests around these parts. We even have a professional driver. It's not too bad. Very rural. We're finally here. The ox cart was even worse than the plane. Hand me your passport and wait for me. I have good news, bad news, and more good news. Which do you want to hear first? The first piece of good news is that this is a lucky inn. The couples who stayed here got married when they went back. The bad news is they have only one room left. There's another one 50 kilometers away. That is, if you fancy an overnight ride in the ox cart. The next piece of good news is that we're not far from the giant rock formation. It's a walkable distance. The boss said that after a rain like this, the evening scenery is to die for. I can't wait to see it. In such rural areas, there may not be another inn beyond the village. So I've taken the room. We can sort out the room issue later, but the scenery won't wait around for us. Let's go. I see it, it's up ahead. My memory is more dependable than anything. The rock formation is exactly the same as the jigsaw puzzle. Once we get closer, you'll see the resemblance. I can't believe you took a photo of the jigsaw. Hmm? Let me see.
No way. It's really somewhere else. Uh, blame it on the rocks for looking the same. But since we're here, the scenery is pretty nice, wouldn't you say so? The weather forecast is pretty accurate at least. Rain in the evening. Good thing I came prepared. Come here. I only brought one. I'll come over there then. stopped. Are you just going to sit there and stare into space? Won't you look at me? I brought it for you. I'm used to getting soaked in the rain. Hey, stop looking down and set your gaze towards the horizon more. It's easier on your eyes. Yeah, it's been there for a while. You were intent on ignoring me, so I had to admire it on my own. Don't you think this rainbow looks familiar? Good memory. Actually, I took you out here to see the rainbow. Did I say that? I recall that day when we were solving the jigsaw puzzle. You said it would be great if you could see it for yourself. I know you're moved, but don't look at me like that. I have enough capacity in my brain to store what you say. It's okay. I understand how you feel. Hiking through the wilderness to see a giant rock formation. That does make more sense than coming all this way only to see a rainbow. True, rainbows can be seen anywhere, but it's hard to see the entire arc in the city. Those skyscrapers always get in the way. It's the rainy season here, so use this opportunity to take in as much of it as you can. It's raining again. You asked me why I chose to invite you along on our way here. Well, I think sharing this view with someone less special to me would only render its beauty meaningless. If it wasn't for you, I could never convince myself to get on a plane. My heart skipped a beat at every drop during turbulence. That being said though, with you at my side, I suddenly realized it probably wasn't the turbulence that caused my heart to skip a beat. After that, it no longer felt so unbearable.